babies. <laughs> yes, congratulations. Was, yeah, That's having wonderful. Having one at 40. Yes. You know, uh, you are so impressive. And, and in reading about you, I don't know if your theories have changed, but you, uh, a couple of years ago, you said, I have to be in present time. I want to enjoy my successes. Let them let in. Still the same? Still the same. Even more so now. Yeah. How mm -hmm. do you work at that? Or do you have to? Well, I have people around me. I have a team of people who are who are my my managers, my publicists, my lawyers, my 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 husband. I mean, I have people around me who always remind me of what I say. They say, "Remember to read your press." If I start to if I start to uh, move in another direction, because I think we're all programmed in one way or another to not be in present time, to not relate to ourselves well, and and. Uh, I, I'm reminded, and I have people around me that remind me. It's very important for me. This feature that you've done for ABC called yes. Mother, Wife, Murderer. Mm -hmm. um, I've heard you talking this morning about yes. this true story, a woman in ultimate denial. That's right. Different for you. The opposite of you. The, the opposite of me, and that's what made it so difficult for me. Mm. It was very hard. I, I brought, in, in a way, I, I, I tend to leave my characters behind. I had trouble shaking her, and I think because of that very thing. Is she a nutcase? No. No, absolutely not. I mean, she is w what would be called a sociopath, someone who has no social or moral conscience or fiber. Is it a message? Is it entertainment? Or is it a voyeuristic look at someone who's got no social fiber? I think it's all. I, yeah. I think it's all of those things. I think it's, I think for me, it's, I, I, I don't like, I, I like to do things that are important to me, but I don't tend to want to preach to people or, you know, or, or, or sh show them a lesson or teach them something. But for me, seeing her and, it's just my personal opinion, also the way I choose roles, is that when someone, it, it tells you something, that when someone is a certain way and they continue to go in that way and they have denial and they don't work on themselves and they end up not changing, it causes their downfall. Yeah. It's, that, it's the pride, it's the arrogance, it's the ability to, it, it's, it's the, it is that one thinks that they have, um, know that they can never be brought down, that they are invincible. Total and that control, is huh? and and mm -hmm. and when we relate to ourselves and, and other people from humility and being humble, um, your life tends to go better. And I think that being conscious provides that sort of uh, Working humility. Working with two great actors in this, David Arkin Very, Steers, very great. Mm -hmm. yeah. People that I, uh, two, two gentlemen that I actually worked with uh, 20 years ago at the California Shakespeare Festival. Oh, what goes around it's, comes that's around. That's right. It was a wonderful reunion. It was Isn't marvelous to be together again. You say you can shake the things that you do. Have you shaken the Ryan White story? No. No, but I, and, I, and I think because um, I know Jeannie, I continue to talk to Jeannie, it's not the Ryan White story that I, I'm not able to shake. Not the, mo not the movie. The movie is done and the movie is complete and it has been put to rest. What has not been put to rest for me is um, the fact that it is still going on, the disease is still going on, that, that, that what's upsetting for me are, are things in relation to Ryan's grave being vandalized. Um, the disease of prejudice continues. The disease of prejudice continues, and and we forget. We it's it's really like Marie Hilly. We we go into denial about our feelings. This boy brought a kind of light to us, uh, a kind of consciousness to us, that we need to pay attention to. So mm -hmm. for the good side of not forgetting him, is is that for me? And for the the hard the hard and difficult side of it is that I have friends that are that are ill, <clears throat> and that people who are prejudiced against because of the disease, and so. Uh, it is in that way that the Ryan White story is, is not put to rest for me. I've been on your set of Growing Pains, and I know you're not acting. You have such a good time. I, I mean, do. of course you're acting, but you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. You're not acting the fun part. Yeah. And Catherine Hellman and Tony Danza working with those people, all those great actors. Right. Um, this year is a little different. You want to make the relationship, huh? I, I don't know how. I, I really don't know how far we're going to go. I, I'm, I'm really not sure. I mean, I, I just completed the film, and so I don't have the I don't have the whole skinny on everything. What do you but, want to happen? I know you're not the writer or producer, but what do you I, want? I'm not. I, I, I'm almost not the person to ask about that. I, I, Judith, have my own personal opinions about that. I think that relationships. Many people say to me, "Look, I mean, I've done one one show, so I, I don't." I don't know. A, I don't know that I believe that it would cause our downfall if Tony and I slept together, or if Tony and I got married. In other words, like <clears throat> lighting Cheers, other shows that slipped when. I happened. know that people point that out. I just think that there is an audience out there of people who say relationships are great after people have slept together, 
why do we have to continue to titillate each other and pretend that it was great before we slept together? Then what, what is the reason for the ongoing relationship? <clears throat> is it just because uh, we, didn't sleep, we didn't sleep together before and we were, we were holding out for some great sacred thing? There is something about people being together and having an intimacy and getting to know each other better and deeper <clears throat> and being more in touch with each other that keeps people just as excited, just as romantic, just as loving, does, and just as fun. Does any of this <laughs> come from what's going on in your personal life with Robert? I mean, I think it's what we strive for, what we work toward, what we look to do, and what we're we're committed to each other. And it's and it's hard. I mean, it's hard work. I'm not. It is not magic. And I get so frustrated when people say, "Oh well, you know, I mean, here you are, and you just sort of." fell into this wonderful relationship with, with Robert. We work really hard on it. And I think Tony and Angela would work really hard on their relationship. And so you bring another entire dimension exactly, to those two. Exactly, which I think could be just as fascinating. Oh, yeah. Different, different, but really fascinating. So we'll be sitting here eight years from now talking about maybe the new children that are about to come your way or something. I with, would like uh, that. Who knows? That eight years on one show. Is it exhausting? No, it's it's so much fun. It is, is so part much of fun. it because you're in such good shape mentally and physically that it's not exhausting? I think that's part of it and I have fabulous people around me all the time. I have a terrific team of people that I work with and I have fabulous people that I work with on the show. I mean, Tony Danza is a joy to be around. Catherine Hellman, Alyssa Milano, Danny Pintar, they are, they are writer producers. They are fabulous. Just like Marie Hilly. What didn't make it difficult was that that I had a fabulous group of people to be around and a fabulous group of people to work with. So I think it's sort of a combination of everything. Pretty good time for you, huh? It's an excellent time mm -hmm. for me. Great. Thanks, Judith. So nice Keep to talk it up. to you. You, you too. too. Thank you. Uh-huh. Great. Great. <clears throat> was a dream. The best time of my life. And we have oh, such a gift. But I, it was my attitude, sorry. Oh, right. You know, I've been lucky enough to be on the set of Who's the Boss, and I don't think you can fake that kind of happiness, this camaraderie that you have. Um, it, it just seems like such a wonderful place to work. It is fabulous. I love it. I, you're an inspiration. In the reading about you years ago, you said, I want to be in present time. I, I want to uh, let my successes in. Is it still that way? I'm looking right into the camera. Am I an idiot? I'm not looking at you. It's all right? Yeah. Okay. Um, when we watch uh, mother, wi wife, mother, wife, yeah. When we watch wife, mother, murder, are we, are we watching a nutcase? Is this a voyeuristic look at that? Or is it entertainment? Or is it a message film? Could this any? It, could this all come from your own personal relationship with Robert? Okay. That's good. Thank you. Thank you.